Hey there all you watch enthusiasts, I hope I didn't keep you waiting long as we welcome you back to another juicy video on Lux Life. While some individuals are replacing luxury watches with smart watches or fitness trackers, we feel that a good wristwatch is still an important executive accessory. That's why we've gone to great lengths to choose the 5 insane watches you won't believe exist, including timepieces that struck our attention at all of the major watch trade fairs. A good looking watch serves two purposes. It expresses your own style and status, and obviously it informs you of the time, which is incredibly useful. Keep watching this video to learn more. Number 5. White Gold Richard Mill RM6701 the base plate is made of microblasted grade 5 titanium with a gray electric plasma treatment which gives it outstanding stiffness and the exact surface flatness required for proper gear train operation. The bridges are also made of grade 5 titanium which has been microblasted and treated with black electroplasma boasts the RM website. According to the RM website, this one-of-a-kind watch was created in response to the Sultan of Brunei's particular needs. Do you know what that means? It was literally made on order for a sultan. But fear not peasants, you can still purchase it if your budget permits it. Richard Mill's specialty has never been ultra-thin watches. Rather, his clocks have been known for how they play with depth throughout the years and some have been downright huge. He can, however, produce slimmer watches when he wants to and frequently to excellent effect. The rectangular RM16 and more recently the RM3301 are both departures from his usual idiom and he showed his most recent at the SIHH the RM6701 which is both his flattest watch to date and the first extra flat watch he's made in the tonneau shaped case which has been the foundation of his designs since the company launched its first watches in 2001. Of course, the watch makes up for its lack of thickness with its own unique design language. It's true that highlighting the aesthetic qualities of industrial materials is a classic modernist design strategy, and aside from a few notable exceptions, such as the Royal Oak, which did for stainless steel in watches what Mies van der Rohe did for it in an architecture, there aren't many watch designers who did it as well as Richard Mill. Number 4. Cartier Santos the Cartier Santos is a very long-lasting design that's inextricably related to the beginning of piloted flight. Around 1906, Alberto Santos Dumont became the first person to accomplish sustained flight in a fixed-wing aircraft. Dumont was good friends with Louis Cartier, a French jeweler, and had told him about the trouble that he was attempting to examine his pocket watch while flying. Cartier set out to create a wristwatch that would enable Dumont to check the time without having to take his hand off the controls. Cartier designed the first pilot's watch to assist Dumont with a practical difficulty and it's said to have sparked the custom of men wearing timepieces on their wrists, which was previously done by women. The naming of this series suggests that this watch will have a bigger case. This one is 39.80 mm in diameter with a case thickness of 9.38 mm and it has a lot of wrist presence for a square watch. This model is about 5 mm bigger than the Santos du Cartier medium versions. The case is composed of brushed stainless steel and has an 8 screw bezel with a black ADLC coating. The Santos 100 with its unique square style casing and Roman numeral dial has been redesigned to a current 51 by 41.3 mm dimension. Santos has survived due to its roots as well as its utilitarian sports design, which, despite its age, still looks excellent. Prices start at about $6,700. Number 3. Rolex Daytona Reference 6239 Paul Newman, actor, director, racing car driver, provider of delectable condiments, and professor of some of the world's most renowned blue eyes, was the first owner of this Rolex watch. The design was initially released in 1963 and is widely regarded as the ultimate racing timepiece. Paul received the watch from his wife, actress Joanne Woodward, in 1969 with the phrase, drive carefully on the reverse. Over the following 15 years, he would wear this watch in hundreds of more races. As a result of Paul's unmistakable cool guy image, Hollywood background and lovely tail, this watch has become a sought-after timepiece. 
The Paul Newman Daytona, which Newman received as a gift from his wife, actress Joanne Woodward, has long been regarded as the holy grail of watch collectors. Many people are claiming that this is the finest watch on the globe, said Jeff Hess, the CEO of Analog Shift and a vintage Rolex enthusiast. He went on to say, this watch transcends watch collecting, it transcends the watch community. Number 2. Richard Mel Rafael Nadal Hassan Bolkia, one of the world's wealthiest men, wears a one-of-a-kind Richard Mill RM035 Rafael Nadal watch, which was custom-made for him by the Swiss luxury automaker. Wondering what's so insane about this watch? While the common public has often gazed upon this unique watch, this model is both unique and priceless since it's not accessible on the market. Since 2010, Richard Mill and Rafael Nadal have collaborated on a series of exceptional timepieces in a partnership that's unprecedented in the history of watchmaking. The RM2703 is no different. The Tourbillon movement redefines the capabilities of technical performance in terms of shock resistance. It's capable of withstanding and resisting shocks of up to 10,000 Gs, making it a milestone in the history of watchmaking. It's a work of art that exemplifies the force of the Spanish player's game. Similarly, the RM2703 marries cutting-edge materials with a complicated watchmaking structure. Clay courts are notorious for enhancing the impact of the ball, and the RM2703 is no exception with its vivid red and yellow quartz TPD casing paying tribute to Rafael's homeland of Spain. This vibrant color is obtained by impregnating tiny layers of silica about 45 microns thick with a colored matrix using a Swiss-developed proprietary method that stacks the filaments in layers before heating them to 120 degrees Celsius. The capacity of this exceptional watch's tourbillon caliber to survive shocks of up to 10,000 G is its main innovation. Years of R&D and numerous hours of testing have led to this point, notably pendulum impact testing, which replicates the linear acceleration caused by unexpected movements or shocks to the user. Number 1. Brigitte Grand Complication – Mary Antoinette Brigitte's pocket watch comes with a fascinating history. Mary Antoinette is said to have been attracted by Brigitte's watches and to have collected a number of them throughout the years, including a perpetuelle with a self-winding mechanism. In 1783, a secret admirer of hers placed an order with Brigitte for a watch that would be as stunning as possible, utilizing the complete spectrum of horological skill available at the time as a present for the Queen. The instructions said that gold should be used in lieu of other metals wherever feasible, and that auxiliary mechanisms or complexities should be as many and diverse as possible. The only requirements were to utilize gold wherever feasible and to include as many and diverse problems as possible. It took 44 years to build and was finished 34 years after Marie Antoinette was executed and 4 years after Abraham Louis Brigitte died. Its enormous complexity and background make it a tempting purchase for affluent collectors. One bonus recommendation. Number 6. Emergency Gold Gram Chronofighter – A Safe on Your Wrist Gram, with its strong military timepieces, is on the other end of the spectrum when it comes to watchmaking elegance. The Chronofighter, on the other hand, is popular because of its antique charm and era-appropriate design cues, as well as some extremely competent movements. As a result, the company has been driven to design timepieces that are unorthodox and don't take itself too seriously, particularly for the brand's loyal customers. One such timepiece is the emergency gold you see before you. The watch, which is limited to just 50 pieces, is already a collector's item. This watch is a collector's pleasure, especially with the 1G gold ingot inserted in the dial and the bezel-mounted advice to break glass in case of emergency. The Swiss watch business is often criticized for being too serious. These clocks, on the other hand, scoff at such notions. The clock has a 48-hour power reserve and is powered by the G1747 chronograph caliber. This movement is housed in a 44mm steel casing that has Graham's proprietary chronograph trigger mechanism on the left side. Oh, and the watch also comes with a little hammer in case you need to shatter it in an emergency. Alright guys, that's all from us today. If you liked the video, do be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this going forward. 
Do be sure to also leave us a comment to let us know which of these watches are the most hard to believe. The